What's up guys, my name is Ace, and something that I've touched on a few times when it comes to my feedback for Cold War throughout the beta, and also throughout the alpha, is player visibility. And this is an issue I have that I think is serious enough that it deserves its own video here, so I just want to push this as hard as possible because I really feel like this is one of those things that definitely needs some work, and it also seems to be a very realistic change that we could expect to see for launch. So I just wanted to highlight some of the visibility issues I have, some of the problem spots on some of the maps throughout the beta, as well as a few other visibility issues that aren't related to the main visibility issue that we're going to be talking about. Now, when it comes to visibility, we also had an issue back in the Modern Warfare beta. If you guys remember, the big issue with that was typically if an enemy was inside a room or inside a building and you were outside looking in, anything inside that room was basically just pitch black. Like, you couldn't see anything at all from the outside looking in, and that just led to a lot of really unfair feeling situations where people camping in buildings would have a significant advantage because they could see you clear as day because you're outside but they were literally invisible to you on your screen unless the name tag happened to pop up above them. Now, Infinity War did end up cleaning up this issue fairly early on, which is really nice. I'm not saying visibility is perfect in that game, but they did make significant improvements to that. And when it comes to Cold War, I'm seeing some of the same sort of visibility issues and also some new visibility issues that have popped up. So I have noticed in some situations on some maps, if you're outside looking into a building, or not even buildings, sometimes you're just looking into a shaded area, especially on Cartel, I think this is a big problem with Cartel, is if an enemy is standing still in a shaded area, they are very difficult to see. If they're moving, yeah, you can detect that movement and it's pretty easy to figure out where they're at but it's mainly if they're standing still, so those people that are camping. And to put this to the test on stream several days ago, I thought it would be funny because I was getting kind of frustrated by these people that I was having a hard time seeing. What I did is I found some shaded areas and I was just standing still just to see how long it would take enemies to react to me when they come around a corner. And it was hilarious. I had a huge advantage over them because it was clear that they weren't picking up on me immediately. It was taking them some time and by the time they realized that I was a person, it was already too late. I was putting shots into them and it was already over for them. So that's the first sort of issue with visibility I have is some of the shadowy areas or with a dark room, for instance, it can be really difficult to see enemy character models in those situations. Now, I will say it's not nearly as bad as we saw at the beginning of Modern Warfare's beta last year, but I still consider it to be a bit of an issue. Now, moving on to the second issue, and I think this is the biggest issue I have overall with the visibility in this game, is the enemy character models, even in bright situations, just blend in with the background. It seems like there's no contrast between a, an enemy character model and the environment. And the top middle area around the B flag on satellite is the biggest offender here, or at least one of the biggest offenders, because it's a very complex section of the environment. There's a lot of different textures. There's also a lot of movement in the environment itself. So there's smoke and there's flames and stuff. So it makes it that much harder to detect an enemy character that's moving a little bit because you're expecting some movement based on the environment. And I've run into so many situations where even at relatively close range, I'm literally just not seeing an enemy character model until it's far too late and I already don't stand a chance. And this is where we can play a little bit of Where's Waldo. In this situation right here, where's the enemy character model? Now, if you take a little bit of time, yeah, you can probably pick them out, but think about the fact that this is a fast paced arcade style shooter and you've got a couple hundred milliseconds to react to this. Were you honestly able to pick up on that enemy character model within a couple hundred milliseconds? Probably not. It probably took you a little bit longer than that to realize that's an enemy and I need to start shooting back at them. Now the thing about this is too, this isn't just an isolated incident and you can see right after respawning after that exact same situation, once again, I'm getting shot from the side and I have a look over, where's the enemy character model here? And how long did it take you to realize that was an enemy character model? Now, to be clear, I'm not claiming that I wouldn't have died in this situation. It's just showing that this happens on a pretty consistent basis, and it's not just the middle of the map on satellite. There are several areas on every one of the maps that we've played in the beta where enemy character models just blend in with the environment. But just to continue this a little bit, since I find it kind of fun, let's just look at a screenshot right here. There is currently an enemy player that is on my screen in my field of view right now, and they are aiming directly at me. Can you see this player? Like, if you need to, pause the video and really try to find this player. Lean in, look pixel by pixel, and see if you can find an enemy character right now. 
I'd be willing to bet most of you didn't see this guy right here, and he doesn't even have cover. It's not like he's head glitching something and I can only see a few little pixels of him. I can see literally the entire character model here, but I can't see it because he just blends in so much. He's invisible to me at this point. And of course, it's not just satellite. Where's the enemy character model in this situation? Again, pause the video if you need to right now. But even if I zoom in here right on the enemy character model, can you see him? Probably not. There is a character model in there. So yeah, I think that's enough of that. I think that kind of proves my point. The biggest issue I have with visibility is enemies simply blend in with the environment. And I think a lot of this comes down to the fact that these days, environments are getting more and more complex because the hardware is able to keep up with that and things have been pushed forward. So if you compare this to an older Call of Duty game, for instance, on like previous gen consoles like Xbox 360 and stuff, the environments tend to be much more simple and therefore enemy character models pop off of the environment much more. So I don't know exactly what they have to do to solve this issue. I kind of feel like a little bit of illumination on the character models would go a long way as far as just providing a bit more contrast with the environment. And I do know that some games have systems like that in place. I think Battlefield actually does that, where they have a little bit of illumination on the character models themselves. And I kind of feel like that's what we need in Cold War. But aside from that, which is my biggest issue with visibility, there's another issue that I've mentioned before, but I'm going to bring it up again here. This is an issue with the muzzle smoke. It's not so much the muzzle flash. I think the flash part is not too bad. It doesn't obstruct the target too much. It's mainly the smoke that comes out of the muzzle when you fire your gun. It almost seems like we're firing full auto black powder guns here because there is so much smoke that comes out to the point where it often completely blocks the visibility of your target, even at fairly close ranges. And this prevents you from being able to make those fine adjustments to your aim because you can no longer really see your target. And I feel like this just sort of takes away from the skill gap and the overall feeling of control over that gunfight in that situation. It, it just kind of feels like as you start shooting, a smoke screen pops up in front of you and now you have to guess where the enemy player is going to be. So that's another visibility issue. I feel like that one would be really easy for them to clean up and I hope they do. I hope they either reduce that transparency or the size or both of that smoke effect coming out of the guns. Because not only does it look ridiculous from a realism standpoint, it also, much more importantly, hurts the gameplay, in my opinion. But finally, one last visibility issue I wanted to point out here, and this one is map specific, and you guys probably already know what I'm talking about. Those stupid bushes on Cartel. I hate those bushes so much. I hate the fact that they are like the perfect height of an enemy character model, or just about a perfect height. So even an enemy character that's standing up and has full mobility at that point, they can sometimes be completely hidden by those bushes and you just have to guess and try and shoot through or you have to wait until you see a name tag or a health bar pop up above their head. This has been a very common complaint in the community and for this one, I hope they can just trim those bushes down a little bit. I get what they're going for with the idea and I would be fine if they trim those down to the point where if you're crouching, then the enemy can only see like your head poking out of the top of it, for instance. But if you're standing up, then they should be able to see your head and your shoulders and your upper torso just fine. I think that would be a fair trade-off that would still allow people to be kind of sneaky crawling around through those bushes if that's what they're choosing to do, but they sacrifice mobility in order to do that. That's just my personal opinion on that though. I really would like to see an adjustment to those bushes on Cartel. Now that's pretty much it for my visibility issues, but I am going to wrap this up addressing something I anticipate I'm going to be seeing in the comments a little bit here, especially from traditionally non-Call of Duty players. Why should visibility be good? Like, why should enemy character models pop from the environment? Why not let people be camouflaged and sneak around and be hidden like that? What's wrong with that? And the simplest answer I can give here is Call of Duty is and always has been a fast-paced arcade-style shooter. The game is about keeping up the pace, it's about your positioning, your gun skill, it's not about playing hide and seek, it's not about trying to camouflage yourself in with the environment. That's fine in some games and some franchises, but that's not what Call of Duty is. And that sort of goes against the entire rest of the design philosophy of this game. Like, almost everything else about this game is fast-paced arcade style. And therefore, I feel like players that are extremely camouflaged or pretty much impossible to see even though they're right in front of you, it just doesn't fit with this style of gameplay. But of course, that is just my opinion. I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on visibility throughout the Cold War beta so far. Do you agree with me? Do you think the visibility does need a lot of work and there are some clear issues with that? Or do you think that there is a place for this sort of camouflage in a Call of Duty game? 
Just let me know all of those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.